Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of a new Trekkie. My five-year mission to search out Star Trek media, to seek out our fans and merchandise, to boldly go where no fan has gone before. Greetings and salutations, how's everybody doing? So today we're looking at two episodes from um, Star Trek The Next Generation. In this case, we're looking at the episodes Coming of Age and Heart of Glory. Let's go ahead and look at Coming of Age first. In this episode, Wesley is ha goes through Starfleet Academy. Wesley goes through a Starfleet Academy entrance exam while, while Admiral Gregory Quinn and Lieutenant Commander Dexter um, investigate the senior staff of the Enterprise. So what did I think of this episode? Well, I actually kind of think that the whole parts of Wesley's storyline actually are really good, and honestly, because Wesley meets the ultimate Starfleet test. Look at his son! Come on! Now, both face the toughest challenge of their lives. Because I think that's the kind of the highlight of it. Mostly because I think that's where most of the dramatic moments are coming from. Well, I mean, I'm not saying that there's no dramatic moments coming from the investigation aspect of the Enterprise. And mostly, like, mostly is because, like, say the episode is, like, we're Wesley's part of it is he's trying to in a way be able to become a cadet for the Enterprise and in a way I kind of think this one really is neat in a way in fact it might appeal to young like say um members of young watchers who might think like say I'm getting ready to do my exam for an SAT or and all that before I go to college or something like that. Maybe that would be a way someone would think of that. And honestly, I think Will Wing does a great job. And I, especially, if, and also, like, say, the moments when they're doing the investigations, I do think, like, say, everyone is doing a great job, and the fact they say, hey, well, that's not what I mean, mean when we're talking about the captain and everyone's just like saying, no, 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 it's not what we mean. And, like, say, Dexter, he's doing, uh, Remick, he's doing a pretty good, uh, he's basically just trying to say, look, I'm just trying to do my job and trying to figure out, like, what's going on here and all that sort of thing. And, yeah, it's, this part of the episode is sort of like, say, like when, like, um, like having, like, say, a annual review in a way, but for the like head boss and honestly. And at first, when I was watching this, I was like, yeah, I don't like this. But after having to get to the end of the episode, you realize, like, so okay, now I understand what they were going for. Uh, there's this is the first episode that deals with, has a. A shuttlecraft? That ship back at once. I've lost power. The captain struggles to save a runaway shuttlecraft. In it, and as well as a Vulcan. Although the Vulcan in this episode, uh, she only has one line, which is congratulations. And yeah, I mean, it would have been cool if they had, if they had, she, the actress playing the Klingon, had been given more lines to deal, do, and all that. Especially, like, say, the moments when they're having, say, the testing for, um, the episode. I think that looks really cool, like, when, when we had the final test for Wesley, which is basically, in a way, like, a hard decision that he has to figure out. And I think that's really, honestly, pretty cool, honestly. I think it works really well. So, honestly, I think this episode is not that bad. Especially for an episode involving Wesley. Um... I mean, some episodes involving Wesley can be kind of hit or miss. I think this is the one that should be checked out. 
let's go ahead and look at the next one, which is, which is Heart of Glory. In this episode, um, War befriends a, a group, like, say, a group of Kling, a uh, group of Klingons, and basically they are trying to take over the ship. Um, and these Klingons are basically, like, say, rogue, um, criminals, like. These warriors have deadly motives. Join us. I think I actually kind of think this episode, especially for a Klingon-based episode, um, the things that I like about this episode is the fact that this one feels like, say, a nature versus nurture. nurture. I mean, keep in mind that a, a warp is a Klingon. However, in a way, it's like, think of it this way, um, he has, like, he hasn't spent much time around Klingons of his other species. You know, he has had that, you know, fire and need to battle, like most Klingons. However, he tries to control that, like, urge to battle, I guess, in a way. And I like that. I think mean, that was pretty cool um and i kind of like to say the ideas that for this is like say hey it's almost like see an idea of like say class like you know like a higher class like say like hey we know you're a klingon like say why aren't you helping us and like say why are you with the humans in a way and i and i do have to kind of agree like say some uh, critics have said, like, say, like, Worf has been with the crew for so long, and they're now just saying, say, do we really know him? But we have a chance! And it makes me think, say, that doesn't really make sense, like, say, how, like, you've been with, like, say, Worf has been with the crew for so long, and yet now you're just trying to think, say, hmm, Worf is being kind of fishy. So, I mean, but honestly, I actually think this episode kind of works. Um, and honestly, I, like, say, some reviewers are trying to say, like, say, and what I'm trying to say is, I believe that everyone does a really good job. I think that Michael Dorn, as Worf, does a great job. You look for battles in the wrong place. The true test of a warrior is not without, it is within. Here, here is where we meet the challenge. Especially, like, he has, like, a monologue near the end of the episode when he's trying to talk to uh, a calling of, of higher command, in a way. And overall, I just think that, although the one issue I do have with this episode, is I kind of think, like, say, the makeup for some of the Klingon actors in this episode isn't very good. But that's just how I feel. But what do you guys think of these two episodes? Don't forget to put your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know. And as always, thank you for watching. And I will be sure to see you next time. See you later.